Is it possible that a bold challenge on social media led to the death of a Tampa man? That's what friends of Ari Williams believe tonight. They say Ari was in a disagreement with someone last Friday when he took to Instagram, posting, if you want smoke, I'm in my crib. He was shot soon after the post. News Channel East Nico Clemens joining us live at the IQ Apartments on Bruce Pedals Boulevard. That's where the shooting took place. And police, I know, I mean, Nico, the police are still looking for the shooter. I know that. But are they looking into this social media angle? Well, Keith, I asked about that social media post, so they're aware of it. Uh, but as you mentioned, his name is Ari Williams. Deputies found him in the IQ apartment parking lot behind me. Family and friends say whatever happened behind the scenes happened behind the scenes, but he didn't deserve to die. It's unreal, but it's real. Tawanda Covington wishes she could go back in time when her nephew, Ari Williams, would stop by to check on her. They say he know his aunt cook his Sunday dinner, so he's here on Sunday making sure he get a plate. She describes her nephew as a good person, always made you laugh. But always gonna be silly. No, no, you cook. Yeah, he, that's my nephew. Williams was gunned down Friday afternoon in Tampa. He was an awesome father. A father to a six-year-old girl. Everything was about his daughter his family investigators don't believe the shooting was random family and friends believe unfortunately social media may have contributed to his death it doesn't matter what kind of statement he didn't deserve for his life to be taken he was wrong but he was mad he shouldn't have did that but he shouldn't have also died because of that either Williams was an up-and-coming rapper who went by Rolly Vans. He filmed one of his latest music videos with Devontae Simmons riding around in the newest cars Cars that I, cars I thought I'd never be in. I'm in them. Simmons, emotional, says Williams was more than a friend. Uh, he, he like a brother too. Whatever he needed, I had his back. And just what it was, you know, and he had my back. He says Williams was always trying to help people. His aunt said the same. Tonight, they want justice. His daughter deserves that. His mom deserves that. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakradash, double honor to our apostles and elders, great millstone and rule well, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, pushing the true doctrine, cut the four winds of earth and all truth down and sincerity, I'm the martyr of Yah from the Mississippi camp, Lord willing this be an edifying lesson. This is just a quick lesson, I ran across this video of this uh, Florida rapper, thank you from Temple, who was gunned down by, you know, basically tempting the Lord and I think that'll be the name of this video thou shalt not tempt the Lord because he's gonna you know this guy he tell his ops if they want some smoke to come to his uh, crib and he dropped his location apparently on Instagram very stupid very dumb not wise at all and it cost him his life okay See, people going to realize, man, that the, hey, the Lord is not playing games, man. You know, if people act like there's not a higher power at work here, man. And, and they think that their lives are, are controlled by themselves. They dictate whether they live or die, how they move. But, hey, the, the Lord created all things for, to, for himself to do as he will. You know, he created good, he created evil. You know, he, he, hey, he allow you to live and he'll put you to death. Simple as that. So I'm going to get a couple of scriptures here and I'm going to close it out. This is not going to be long at all through the spirit, Lord willing, but it's edifying. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 6, starting verse 15. The Lord, Yahweh, our power is a jealous power among you. Least the anger of the Lord, Yahweh, that power be kindled against thee and destroyed thee from off the face of the earth. Right, because, hey, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh is a jealous power, man. People have become lovers of themselves. They idolize themselves. They, they only think about their money, you know, their positions in this wicked kingdom. You know, they commit all types of adultery, doing all kind of drugs, eating all kind of vulnerable foods, you know, just doing all matters of wickedness, man. You know, they receive their, 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 um, 
their, their so-called riches, their, their gifts. And the scriptures say a gift destroyed the heart. And, you know, Esau gave these people, man, especially when it comes to the nation of Israel, all these gifts to separate them and, and push their minds further and further away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh into a wicked state of mind that do as that with spirit. And they become complete bug outs, not considering the Lord, not thinking of the Lord, and be complete heathens, man. You know? They become straight uh, uh, Hellenized. And it ultimately start leads to these guys' death, man. Because there's always a place of repentance. But these guys don't repent because they don't know the Lord, man. And they don't know the Lord, how they going to repent? Back in the scriptures, ye shall not tempt the Lord, Yahweh thy power, as ye tempt him in, in uh, Messiah. So basically, man, hey, you can't be tempting the Lord, man. And by tempting the Lord, telling these niggas where you live, if they want some smoke to come get it, without the understanding that you having no control over your life, Hey, look what happened to this guy. He was put to death. He was put to death. Being cocky. Thinking he, I guess, uh, 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 Mr. Tough Guy. And now he's deceased. Now he in the spiritual world. Everybody talked about he was a good guy, saying he didn't deserve to die. They're talking about he shouldn't have did it, but he didn't deserve to die either. What, what the result's going to be if you calling people out? Talking big shit that you got beef with. Hey, you call somebody bluff, man. Hey, they'll pull your card. And this is a prime example. You know? Get another scripture. Because that mouth, man, that mouth that had a lot of jakes put to death, man. This is Proverbs chapter 18, starting at verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Right? So I'm going to read that in the NLT. Proverbs 18, 21. The tongue can bring death or life. And it brought him death. For talking uh, cash money shit. Putting his, his, his home location on IG. Or his location wherever he was on IG. I think it was at his crib. As we said, hey, and these guys, they, hey, they called this bluff. And they went and peeled this cap. They, they X'd him out. And now people feel sorry for him. He should, he should have been wise. He shouldn't have been such a dummy. You can't feel sorry for a guy like that, man. You going to tell the people where to come find you? Knowing they want your head? Very unwise, man. Very stupid. All right, back in the scriptures. Let me get one more and I'm going to close it up. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, Sirach and the Apocrypha, chapter 39, verse 28. Because these, hey, these, uh, um, hey, the Lord putting the spirits on these uh, jakes out here, man, these people in general. Hey, and they doing his will, man. They doing his bid, okay? They're putting people to death. Because the Lord controls the good and evil. All right? This is the book again of Ecclesiastes, chapter 39, verse 28. The, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. Hey, and that was a sore stroke, man. That ultimately, hey, put him to death. He's through. He's gone. He's done. Judgment. All right? Left behind a daughter. You know, family, because he was a a a, 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 a unwise decision making Jake. Okay, who who ultimately issued his own death sentence in the time of destruction? They pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. So, yeah, man, these, these, hey, these spirits of vengeance that the Lord created to do what he wants them to do, and they do it to appease the Lord, to please him. So, hey, these guys, people getting on these, and there's been many who done dropped their uh, location on whatever it is, Instagram, Facebook, 
whatever, any of these social media, dropping their location, hey, and, and, hey, and cancer roll up on them. You know? But see, the Lord letting these uh, um, these spirits of vengeance navigate through these social media sites when these niggas drop in their location and the Lord allow these demons to just roll up on these niggas, man. After they drop their location, hey, they put it in their uh, they navigation system and they follow them, man. And they'll go put these niggas to death for being complete stupid idiots and tempting the Lord. Okay? So, hey, the Lord say be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, man. And that was very dumb what that guy did, which cost him his life. So, hey, Lord, willing, this is an edifying lesson. I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.